many businesses, including ours, went off overnight. Yeah, luckily, we've got our engineers to help us out and get us back online. Our director of technology, Ryan McDonald, is here with us in our Customers studio. Customers in the loop. They say they have this morning and uh, well first of all thanks for getting everything fixed in the middle I mean you're not usually here overnight so. no, no 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 you've no. been up all night I've been up all night I was yeah. I was about to go to bed I got a phone call from the newsroom people are panicking I was oh boy yeah, yeah. So, you, so you come in here and you told us you walked into the newsroom and it was like the blue screen of death from the old days across the entire newsroom basically. I was hoping what I wouldn't happened? I was hoping I wouldn't see that but the second I walked in every monitor in the place and of course there's lots of monitors here in our newsroom and they're all blue all panicking and users are kind of like well, what do we do now and I'm like well let's see what we can figure out what even happened in the first place, but we did figure out what happened. Um, like like uh, we had reporting earlier, uh, it was a um, security product that's in use by tens of thousands of businesses all across the globe. They pushed out a bad update. We isolated that update. We found out what was doing uh, the damage. We figured out how to isolate it. We went and visited every computer by hand to neutralize this thing, and fortunately, we're, we're back up, but it was a very time-consuming process. Okay, so this is not a hacking of any sort. No, no, it's not a hack. Your data is not at risk. If you logged in, you don't risk anything. It was really just a malfunction of a piece of software. For, but it malfunctioned in such a way that it was going to make your computer keep rebooting over and over and over again. Interesting. Okay. Should there be, uh, are there, well, I guess there aren't fail safes in place. Should there be something? Another update's going to have to come, or is everyone going to have to do what you did and go back and isolate and do all this? Software like this, these updates, they're thoroughly tested before they go out the door, but occasionally some, there, there's a possibility that it will miss something. Right. Um, these folks that publish these security updates, they do have a good track record, but every now and then something does get out. And unfortunately, when it does get out, it has a potential to impact like it did this morning, where lots of computers go down simultaneously. Now, a question about the airlines. We were just talking about this. It's, it, it affects scheduling. It's not like the, the plane's operating system. Or right. It, like it's a scheduling thing. So the uh, airplanes are, are not subject in, in, their, in their flight rules. The airplanes are not at risk because of this. But scheduling, um, pos positioning airplanes, things like that, that is affected. But no, flight safety is not, a, not an issue here. And for your average uh, person at home with a, a Windows machine, if they just turn it on this morning, might they find it or no? Um, probably not. Um, CrowdStrike is not something you'd find in most people's homes. This is primarily a business product. Um, but yeah, if, if you are unfortunately affected at home, you're going to need to call in an IT professional. The fix here is, is not a terribly easy thing to do. Yeah. Um, but an IT professional will know how to get you back. So, so really, most, most of the issues really come down to you as a customer with some business that's having this problem. Right. It may like be slow to get an remote. order or slow yeah. to get through, or obviously right. you can't catch a plane today. Right, exactly. So for, fa for folks that are working remotely this morning, they might wake up to their computer. They might wake up their computer like this, and what I would tell you is if you are waking up and you're contacting your business computer, you're walking into your place of business and you see these screens, please don't click anything. Don't think you can fix it yourself. There's, there may be an offer to do an auto repair. Please don't do that. That might make it a lot harder for your IT professional to get you back on track. Just report it and go get a cup of coffee. <laughs> that's what, that's what we did this morning. Yes, this, if, if, we, if you could all call Ryan, he doesn't have the time. No, he's okay? ours. He's yeah. <laughs> all ours. Stand all back, right. guys. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Ryan. You, Thank you the update and breaking it at all down for us this morning. I was just picturing like the Vegas sphere with the blue screen of yeah, death. This was just an odd like, it's probably not, but anyway. I know. Right. We'll, uh, we'll stay on top of this. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. Thank you.